Hi guys, it's Bags and President Ross. Today we have an updated election map according to abcnews.com. Who do you guys want to win? Let us know in the comments. Also, like, share, and subscribe for more videos. Again, we are back with ABC News as our source. Everyone trusts ABC News after their debate, right? And we are going to fill in our election map according to ABC News polling. It says, meet the candidates. Kamala Harris is currently at 48.1% support, while Donald J. Trump is at 46.3%. And their polling averages are from 538, which is a renowned source in the polling world. Let's film that map according to ABC News in 538. Washington State, with 12 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Oregon, with 8 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. California, with 54 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Alaska, with three electoral votes. According to abcnews.com, Alaska is not red like it has been in almost every single video we've done. It is blue for Kamala Harris somehow. Hawaii, with four electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Montana with four electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. But I do want to, before we fill in more, want to point something out. Something that is very interesting is if you look at Washington, Oregon, California, Alaska, and Hawaii, just those states alone, we're not even halfway through, we're not even an eighth of the way through with the map, and Kamala Harris already has 81 electoral votes. That just tells you if she had just the first five states on the map, she would be, oh my god, it, that's that's insanely cool that she would be that far ahead. But let's continue. Sorry, I just want to point that out. Idaho with four electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Wyoming with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Nevada with six electoral votes, according to abcnews.com, Nevada is red for Donald J. Trump. Utah with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Arizona, according to abcnews.com, Arizona and its 11 electoral votes are blue for Kamala Harris. Trump has had a stranglehold on Arizona for about three weeks, almost a month, but abcnews.com and 538 state that Kamala Harris is gonna win Arizona. That would currently put Kamala Harris at 92 electoral votes if she did win Arizona. Here's going to push her over the 100 electoral vote line. Are Colorado, with its 10 electoral votes, are blue for Kamala Harris. And New Mexico, with its 5 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. That puts her currently at 107. She only needs a little bit over 160 in order to win the election. And this isn't even halfway through the map now. If she wins all these states that ABC and 538 claim that she's going to win. Let's continue. North Dakota with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. South Dakota with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Nebraska, according to abcnews.com, Nebraska itself is red for Donald J. Trump. The first district of Nebraska is red for Donald J. Trump. And the uh, second district of Nebraska is blue for Kamala Harris. Kansas with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Oklahoma with seven electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Texas with 40 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Minnesota with 10 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris and Timothy Walls. Wisconsin with 10 electoral votes, according to ABC polling, shockingly has Trump winning Wisconsin, which is uh, consistent with Rasmussen and Real Clear polling, making Wisconsin its 10 electoral votes red for Donald J. Trump. Michigan, with its 15 electoral votes, according to abcnews.com and 538, Michigan, with its 15 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris, even though a lot of other polls have it being red for Donald J. Trump. I will state this, that, that Gretchen Whitmer is... She has a lot of people that follow her online. They say that she's a great governor. Some people disagree. Obviously, the Republicans disagree. But she has a lot of support 
online across all of her platforms, especially on YouTube, where she gets a lot of positive comments. So I can see where ABCnews.com is going with this by saying that it leans blue, but that's not what most of the polls are showing. They are showing Michigan as red for Donald J. Trump after he's done five or six rallies there. Let's continue. Iowa with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Missouri with 10 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Arkansas with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Louisiana with eight electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Illinois with 19 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Indiana with 11 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Ohio with 17 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. West Virginia with four electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Kentucky with eight electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Tennessee with 11 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Mississippi with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Alabama with nine electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Florida with 30 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Georgia, according to ABCnews.com and 538, Georgia is red for Donald J. Trump. That's a shock because it's actually consistent with the other polls that we've done and looked at. South Carolina with nine electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. North Carolina, however, according to ABCnews.com, North Carolina is blue for Kamala Harris and Timothy Walls. That gives Kamala Harris another 16 electoral votes. Virginia, with 13 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Pennsylvania, according to ABCnews.com and 538, the 19 electoral votes in Pennsylvania go to Donald J. Trump, making it red for Donald J. Trump. Wow, these are some interesting polls that we're looking at. Uh, New York, with 28 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. So we have New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, New Jersey, Massachusetts, Delaware, Rhode Island, Maryland, and D.C. are all blue for Kamala Harris. That currently puts Kamala Harris at 268 electoral votes to Donald J. Trump's 264. However, Maine at large, the top one, A-L-E-2 at large, is blue for Kamala Harris. That gives Kamala Harris 270 and the first district of Maine, the ME01, is blue for Kamala Harris. And the second district is red for Donald J. Trump. And Nebraska at large is red for Donald J. Trump. That gives Kamala Harris the victory at 271 electoral votes to Donald J. Trump's 267, making it just squeal by. The brakes are squeaking when you press down on them. And the Republicans are crying once again while the Democrats are praising the street with flags, dancing on cars at higher taxes and higher crime and losing their gun rights. I'm President Ross. And I'm Bags. And we are Ow. not biased. Meow.